quite problematic. <laughs> anyway, that's the first. It's 9pm, the concert's tomorrow, and I'm going out to get a beer and a pizza. And it feels really nice to be here. I'm getting a mini holiday. If you've watched any of my videos you'll know I always have a cup of tea but I haven't got any tea here and I don't really like to drink coffee the day of a concert because it makes me all jittery so I have got boiling water <laughs> I haven't been making any videos recently and the reason for that is there's been a lot of challenging psychological work going on in my playing finding that very fine line between preparing and working out what I want to say and having a, an idea of the piece but also not forcing it not trying to do something and I thought I would found this balance a couple of years ago <laughs> but it seems like now I'm going to a new different place. To go through that process it's taken a lot of patience and a lot of trust that I'm going in the right direction. So I feel like I've been sort of turned upside down and shaken around over the last few months um, and combined with trying to spend time with my family and be present for my children, that has really been all I can manage, so hence no videos. I do feel like maybe something quite good is going to happen tonight. I've made space in my mind. Um, let's see, I hope it will be something special. I'm looking for something that feels really true the balance between I'm playing the music but also the music is playing me, if that makes sense. It's 6.15, it's still really sunny at the moment but this is going to be so beautiful when it's sort of dusk and going into night time. The concert starts at 9.30, I can't wait.
I finished my rehearsal and I've just discovered that while I've been rehearsing, a bird has pooed <laughs> on my Brahms music. This is definitely a first. I'm quite upset <laughs> about my Brahms, but I suppose I should be quite pleased that it hasn't pooed on the piano itself, because if it went under the strings, that would be <laughs> quite problematic. <laughs> anyway, that's a first. It is 11.30. I hope you can hear me over the rattling of my suitcase. I am feeling exhausted. Um, I think it was good. Some things less good, some things really good. Um, the audience seemed really wrapped. I think the, the silence was so profound, which is a good sign. Beautiful venue, beautiful atmosphere. There was a lovely breeze just blowing. Um, it was really magical. Now I need to sleep quite urgently. Good morning. I'm in Milan with my little suitcase. I found this park to film in because before I get on my flight, I wanted to just reflect on last night's concert because I've mentioned about the new discoveries that I've been making in the last few months. I think I'm quite pleased um, it's definitely still a progression and I suspect that it's going to be a progression for the rest of my life, I hope, uh, but I definitely felt like last night there were some moments where I was completely free and completely able to inhabit every moment of the music. It is really kind of a miracle what I'm chasing, which is uh, you need to have enough control that things stay on track and that, you know, you don't get distracted or forget the music or whatever. But also you have to completely surrender any control in order to allow the music to blossom in a free and spontaneous way and to really get that sense of play. It's a really fine balance. Um, but there were definitely moments last night where I felt like I could be really creative um, and just explore the sound. But at the same time, I was aware that everything was coming out kind of how I wanted it to. And it's quite rare, I found in the past, to get the feeling of spontaneity and freedom, but also to get the sort of... Um, authority of performance. That's what I've been working on combining and I definitely felt some moments of that last night. So I'm feeling excited. I am also quite tired and I'm going to go now and find a coffee as a matter of urgency before I go and get my flight. and the different takes and uh, I've received the edit from the sound engineer. And what's been really interesting about this CD is that um, when I was recording it I found that it was really helpful to do as many takes as I wanted until I felt very happy and confident that I had what I wanted and then I did a performance of the entire work so the entire Prokofiev, the geography team, the entire Schumann work etc and so because I had already got the takes that I wanted I was able to be really daring and quite creative in those performances so I'm hoping to use as much as possible of those performance takes and really get that sense of spontaneity. 